Streams can be infinitely long. Consider the stream of all integers. An integer stream is just all of the consecutive integers, starting at some starting value. This stream is infinite, but the rest of the stream is not yet computed when the stream is created. That's true of streams in general. To build a stream you have to say how you would compute the rest of the stream, using an expression, but that computation is not carried out. So here's how I define an integer stream. I give it a starting value, I cons that onto the front, and the rest is an integer stream starting at the next number. This is not evaluated until somebody asks for the coulder of the stream. So here's my definition. If I start an integer stream at 3, the car of ints is 3, and the car of the coulder of the coulder of ints is the number 5. I could get as many elements as I want. In fact, let's define a procedure called prefix, which takes a stream and a number of elements that we want to see and builds a list. If k is 0, then we'll build the empty list. Otherwise, we'll cons the car of s onto the prefix of the cutter stream of s up to k minus 1. If I restart and redefine ints, I can get the prefix of ints for 30 different values, and that'll give me integers starting at 3 up to 32. So it is possible to access as much of this as I want, but the rest is never computed.